Well, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. It's uh, we're working our way toward the end of the week. Uh, London European traders looking to exit. Uh, that leads us into uh, the new trading week where uh, we're going to take a look at uh, some of the technicals that are driving the market in the short term and also a longer term perspective to see what those charts are telling us. So sit tight. Let's take a look at the euro versus US dollar. Let's uh, start this discussion by looking at the daily chart. I want, and I want you to take a look at the uh, retracement level. Now I'm going to go back in time here. I'm going to take a look at this high price right here. This high price goes all the way back uh, to uh, January of 2021 and the low price uh, for the uh, euro versus US dollar over the over that time period uh, came in at, in September of 2022 and if you look at the 50% retracement of that move uh, move uh, down from that high to the low the 50% retracement comes in at 1.0942 and what was the low price that we saw on trading here today right around that 1.0942 level so we're holding support against the 50 percent retracement the buyers are holding on to the that side of the seesaw if you will with the fulcrum of the seesaw right at the 50 percent retracement at 1.0942 that is going to be a key level going forward into the new trading week if the price can stay above that 50 percent retracement 1.0942 then the buyers are still in play. The buyers are still in control from this perspective. Okay. Now the high price that we saw in trading this week off the daily chart came right up to this uh, line right here. And this line was defined by the swing highs through here. The swing highs created a nice little trend line that we did break above in the month of July, but then uh, came back below that level. And you can see that not only this week's high, but last week, uh, last week we also had swing highs that came up to the underside of that trend line and reestablished that line as resistance. So, technically speaking, folks, um, we held resistance uh, at this uh, trend line. We held support against the 50% retracement level, and so it's all up to going forward. What are we going to do? We're going to get get above that top side level. We're going to move below the low, the 50% retracement, uh, and then move below the 100-day moving average below that level. That would open the door for, for further downside momentum on the daily chart and push the uh, pound versus U.S. dollar to the downside. So that's the uh, look at the daily chart, and now let's look at the hourly chart and see what that price action is telling us. And remember the 50% uh, retracement was at the low price in trading here today. If we go back in time and we take a look at uh, that level off of this uh, hourly chart, we can see how this area right through here was a nice little ceiling here. Uh, the market came up to that here, then broke above that level and started to use that level as support before finally saying, nope, we're going to the upside. And it wasn't until this week until to today, as a matter of fact, where the uh, price came down and retested that swing area right through here and we saw the price uh, find or the uh, pair find willing buyers uh, uh, leaning against that area stopped below the 109329 uh, so the risk was low the risk the risk was limited the risk was defined and the buyers took over now uh, that move to the upside has uh, now run into this blue line this blue line represents the 100 hour moving average and uh, in trading yesterday, the price uh, uh, moved above that level. We traded above and below it on uh, Wednesday and then above and below it in the first part of Thursday. But we did find support against that level before moving higher. And where do we find resistance? Against the 200-hour moving average. It's a green line in the chart before moving to the downside. It was a better data in the U.S. that pushed the price back below the 100-hour moving average uh, and uh, pushed the price uh, to, to the lows for the day. So uh, the technicals are are working okay we had support against this swing area we have resistance against the 100 hour moving average this week we had resistance against the 200 hour moving average this week we uh, found uh, found willing buyers against the 100 hour moving average here it got a little messy through here but uh, all this uh, is uh, giving us confidence for the new trading week and it also gives us a roadmap for the new trading week as well. Now, uh, that roadmap off of the shorter term uh, is going to rely on uh, things like the 100-hour moving average. And by the way, the 50% retracement of the of the July trading range is also in play right near the 100-hour moving average. So, what is that? So, what are what is that roadmap going to say? Well, it's going to say next week if we get above the 100-hour moving average, we're going to sit there and try to look to probably toward the 200-hour moving average, where again we had resistance if we 
get above the 200 hour moving average, we're going to look toward this level right through here, which happened to be the high, which happened to be where the 200 hour moving average was just in trading yesterday. And this uh, level, not only the 200 hour moving average is near that level, but also look at these levels right here. Swing high uh, becomes a support level here becomes a resistance level here and here and here and in trading yesterday we came to that level as well so we got to get above that level 111.48 if we get above that level it opens a door for further upside into the extreme that we saw this month and and uh, then we start to go toward uh, the resistance uh, levels that we saw on that daily chart which were at the highs for this week so um, that is the progression to the top side now uh, right now the bias more is to the more more to the downside as the 100 hour moving average has held resistance right here and if we continue that uh, stay below that level um, I see the progression moving below the 61.8 percent retracement and then maybe this swing area through here where we had a number of different uh, swing lows including yesterday's trade we traded above and below in trading here today but if we move below that level then we're going to look toward it again this swing low that we saw in trading here today it's a key level on the da um, daily chart and 100 hour moving average or 100 day moving average at 1.09045 so you know what i'm getting at is that uh the technical levels are certainly showing the way they're showing the roadmap for this uh, currency pair not only in the daily chart this week but also on the hourly chart and it's up to us to just follow them. Uh, we can lean against, uh, for more bearish, we can lean against things like the 100-hour moving average, 200-hour moving average. If we're more bullish, we're going to need to get above those levels and extend above uh, the extreme uh, for this week, extend, extend above the 111.48 level. On the downside, got to get below the low for the, low for the uh, week, also below the swing area, and get below the 100-day moving average. That's the way I see it. So a detailed look at the euro versus U.S. dollar from a daily perspective, from an hourly perspective. I hope it sets you up for next week's training. My name is Greg Michaloski. Good fortune with your training. Bye-bye now.